Meghan Markle is in a frenzy as WME. Her talent agency has bluntly ordered her to put a pin in releasing the Sussex family Christmas card. This edict is just the latest in a series of embarrassments for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They've been embarrassingly named as one of Tinseltown's biggest flops in the Hollywood Reporter's 20 Hollywood Reporter's 23 Roundup. This is a slap in the face for the couple, especially after their whiny Netflix documentary, a self-pitying biography titled Spare by Prince Harry, and a lackluster podcast series. The Hollywood Reporter didn't mince words, lampooning the couple's ditching of royal duties for what has been a spectacular failure to light up the celebrity scene in the States. To add insult to injury, the Sussex's charity, Archwell Foundation, is bleeding money, with donations tanking by a million bucks, dragging it into the red. In a move that reeks of poor judgment, their right-hand man, James Holt, was given an inexplicable 280% pay hike. Amid this financial debacle, word has leaked from an insider at Barjack about a high-stakes crisis meeting at WME in Los Angeles. The future of Meghan and Harry's Christmas card hangs in the balance. There's chatter that Meghan, now scrambling to be her own PR savior, had to powwow with her team before dropping the card. But WME's bigwigs and staffers are pushing to scrap it altogether. The reasons are murky, but it's noteworthy that the card's no-show coincides with this emergency powwow. The whole mess might be tied to the recent scandal surrounding Omid Scobie's book. It's buzzing around that WME got wind of the Sussex's secret dealings with Scobie, despite their denials. They've not lifted a finger to distance themselves from the storm of controversy and scorn they've stirred up. Their audacity in even considering releasing a Christmas card, particularly one with a photoshopped image of the late queen, is seen as a colossal misstep. After all the mudslinging at the monarchy, this move is viewed not just tasteless, but downright disrespectful. WME, primarily a talent agency, is stuck with a hot potato. Meghan's controversial actions and unbridled narcissism have made her virtually unemployable in the industry. Her inability to see how her actions are self-sabotaging is causing headaches for her reps. There are rumblings that she had to cough up a hefty retainer to secure WME's services, given her notorious reputation as a non-moneymaker. The term Merold, a blend of Markle and old news, has been coined, reflecting her plummeting stock. WME might be advising her on PR, but whether Meghan takes heed is another story. At some point, the agency's patients will wear thin. With crisis after crisis, all self-inflicted, they might just cut their losses and fire her. In an industry where drama is the currency, Meghan's brand of chaos is proving too costly. The question on everyone's lips is when WME will realize that any potential multi-million dollar deal with Meghan is a pipe dream.